guys, welcome to my first tutorial ever. I filmed a brown smoky eye for you guys today. Just a simple one really. Quite strong contour, not gonna lie. Pink lip with like fluttery lashes. Eye contacts are from Solotica. And yeah, so let's just jump right to it. Hey guys, so I'm just starting off with my Morphe M35 O palette and my Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm just choosing this light brown shade from the palette as my transition shade and I'm just buffing that into the crease. Now I'm just taking a darker brown shade from the palette on the same brush just to deepen up the crease. Here I'm taking my Spectrum C06 brush and this red undertoned brown. This will help us transition from the transition colour into the burgundy shade that we're going to be putting on the lid. Don't mind me trying to decide which brush to use. So I'm going into my Sigma Extravaganza Copper Brush Kit for inspiration on which brush to choose. So I'm taking my Sigma E55 shading brush, cleaning it up on a baby wipe, and I'm just dipping it into the two burgundy shades in the palette. So I'm just tapping off the excess and popping that straight onto the centre of the lid. Now these shades weren't as pigmented as I would like for the lid so I went in with my finger and dipped that into the colours and popped that on top and it seemed to work much better. So I'm just cleaning up my finger by wiping it on a fresh baby wipe, taking the same shader brush and I'm just popping the two burgundy shades from the palette onto the lid, just blending that into the crease and deepening the shade on the centre of the lid. So I'm dipping back into my Sigma Extravaganza brush set and I'm picking out my E45 small tapered blending brush to deepen the crease with the same two burgundy shades from the Morphe palette. So here my camera actually cut out but I just went in and winged my liner using my Inglot Black Gel Liner in 77 and I applied this using my Sigma E65 with a small angled brush. Then I took my Sigma E20 short shader brush and I took the same dark brown shade as that I used before and just ran that under my liner on the lower lash line. Now for foundation I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation in the shade 120 vanilla and my Real Technique sponge just to pounce that all over my face. I'd already primed and moisturised at this point using my Revlon Photo Ready Prime and Anti Shine in 010 Clear Transparent. For contour I'm using my MUA's Bronze Perfection Matte Powder in the shade Sunset Tan and I'm taking an old smushy, smushy, no, <laughs> I'm taking a small fluffy face brush to define the hollows of my cheeks. I'm also just dragging that up onto my temples just to make it look like I've got more definition in my face and bone structure. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm using my large tapered face brush from Bare Minerals just to bronze up my entire face using the same contour shade from NYA. I can't believe I completely forgot concealer, but here I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 10. I'm just putting that under my eyes, on the sides of my nose to slim it down a little bit, on the bridge of my nose, on my chin, forehead and on the sides of my mouth. And I'm just blending that all in with my Real Techniques sponge. And now for face powder, I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder in 001 Transparent. I'm using my Sigma F65 brush just to pop that under my eyes, on the sides of my nose, chin and forehead. Now I'm just lightly contouring my nose with that same MUA Sunset Tan shade. I'm just pinching the end of my brush to make the bristles closer together. And I'm just dragging that down the sides of my nose. Now for highlight, I'm using my massive fan brush that I bought on eBay. And I'm taking my BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Eyeshadow and Highlight Palette. I'm just going to use the second lightest and the second darkest shade from the highlights together. I'm just shaking off the excess highlight from the brush and just popping that on the high points of my cheek. Now for my brow bone, I like to take that same champagne golden eyeshadow shade from the palette. Don't know why I was still holding my fan brush, let's put that down. And I just pop that on my finger, onto the brow bone, blend it out with my Spectrum C06 brush. Um, just to make sure everything that looks blended, pretty and sparkly. I also like to take that same gorgeous champagne shade from the palette, just to highlight my nose a little bit. So I just pop it on the tip of my nose and then drag it slightly upwards but not too much because I've got a bump on my nose and I don't want to highlight that. Now for my lashes, I'm just taking this cheap pair that I bought off eBay. They're a brand called Top Lash. They don't have a name or number lash style or anything but they're only £1 so I'm not complaining. <laughs> So I'm just cutting them to fit my eye shape. I like to take the ends that I'd cut off from the lash and just lay them onto the outer end of the lashes just to give them more of a cat eye. And I'm also just using the cheap lash glue that comes with the lashes. In my opinion, I absolutely love these. I don't really get along with duo glue anymore. And now I'm just waiting for them to dry and bending the lashes as they're drying to make it easier to apply the lashes later on. And this is just the point where I realised I forgot to put mascara on before my lashes, so I'm just grabbing my eyelash curlers. This just preps the lashes to stay curly, so I'm grabbing my Max Factor False Lash Effect Mascara and popping that on. But the Max Factor mascara felt a bit dry, so I went ahead and grabbed my MAC black mascara and popped that on top. And of course, I messed it up. It would be a normal day if I didn't. So now that I've put one lash on, I am trying to find my eyelash curlers just to curl them up a little bit more and pull them closer to the lash line. 
So my camera died, but I popped on the other lash and lined my lash bands with the Rimmel London Exaggerate Felt Tip Highliner in 001 Black. Now for blush, I'm just using my really old front cover domed baked powder blush and my powder brush just from Natural Cosmetics. I love this little blush. It's a really nice peachy shade. Um, it's got a little bit of shimmer in it as well, so it blends in with my highlights so nicely. And finally, moving on to lips. Here I'm using my MAC Lip Pencil in Fruit Cocktail. I'm just going to line my lips, top and bottom. I'm just going to overline them a little bit on the bottom, um, but then on the sides, I go more towards my true shape. And I'm going over my lip liner with this Kiko Milano Matte Lipstick in 613. And finally I'm just patting down over my lip just to make sure it all blends in well. So yeah guys, that's the finished look. I hope you like, enjoyed watching, hope you liked it. Um, it's quite bold. I would usually say this is for night out maybe, when you can't really be bothered, just a quick smoky eye. Let me know if, in the comments if you liked any suggestions for the next one and I'll see you next time.